All right, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100, we can see continuing the push, new highs obviously here. The biggest thing here is you look at S&P futures, ES, did you, you end the day above 6,000? Like really think about what's taking place here when we look at that action overall, pure bullish behavior. The NASDAQ as well breaks all-time highs, continues up right here. NASDAQ all-time high, end of the day higher. You have to assume price discovery when we start pushing up. 21.4, 21.5 likely to be coming very soon, in my opinion, when we look at the market. Now, the other thing that happened here today was Jerome Powell. If you don't follow on Twitter, I also did a live stream here on YouTube. Um, it's not going to be available anymore, though. But you can go and see. D Jerome Powell was a cluster of very bullish statements. The economy and our policy are in a great position. He continued to say over and over. I'm hearing next year is looking to be possibly better than this year. These are direct quotes from Jerome Powell. Um, they asked also if Trump said he fired him, would he leave? He said, I would not. It's against the law. Can't fire him. So it doesn't matter. Um, and that, that's basically what happened. The only bad thing that could have been mentioned was tariffs. And Jerome Powell continued to say he will not address anything regarding any political um, questions right now. But with the new president-elect, I guess he at least wants to talk to him first, things like that. Makes logical sense. Um, it, so again, all-time highs. There you are, QQQ. Um, it's that simple. So if you're here and you're asking like, Tyler, what are my next levels on NASDAQ and SPY? I can't give you and say, hey, look little Timmy, we're, we're going to our next level, 515, 516. I mean, everything after this is arbitrary. You can do your 0.618 FIB extensions. I'm not gonna pretend to do that, right? I'm not gonna pretend to give you an arbitrary made up level. There's a reason the levels we mentioned here are so respected. It's because we have reasons and logic behind those levels as well, okay? So understand that you're very bullish, you're in price discovery on the NASDAQ future. So I do expect some upside. Um, something that I am looking forward to tomorrow and tonight is if the Dow can start getting some steam because the Dow really didn't do much here on the day. Now, yesterday the Dow was um, possessed you know, put like 1500 points of upside, incredible. And then yesterday you had a little bit of consolidation during market hours, and then you kind of broke out again. But you held that previous high from basically Wednesday, I believe, yeah, Wednesday, my days are all confused this week. But you held above Wednesday's highs there all day. So that was a really good, that was really good in my opinion, okay? Couldn't ask for anything better there. I wanna see Dow get more continuation back to the upside. Um, banks, things like that were looking really good. The other part of this too is the dollar. The dollar is getting some weakness here, but I wanna say, and I don't wanna claim any victory here and say the dollar is dumping back down because you're still just at the top of that trend line. Like you need to see way more selling on the dollar to get happy. The 10 year yield as well, slightly dropping as well. But it's important to understand, we got our 0.25 basis point cut. Um, but we want to see if the market's actually going to continue coming down. Those are big things in the pipeline that you have to be paying attention to. We don't want to just say, oh, look, we're dropping now. No, we want to get continuation below 200 SMA, things along those lines. Okay. Now, also, too, guys, if you're not following on Twitter, again, I recommend doing so. You're going to get updates on what I'm watching of the day, charts on SPY, SMH, um, semiconductors, my favorite stocks, the NASDAQ, et cetera. Again, so make sure you're paying attention. I'm posting all of it there throughout the day. And I usually post some of these videos on there as well, so you can check it out. But again, that's what we're looking at broad market right now. Equities, um, I you know I, I'm just gonna run through equities again like I did yesterday. Um, I don't really want to go over like recaps of my top names. Like you can go watch those. Like a lot of you guys commented like you know they performed very well. So again, I'm just gonna continue doing that, um, and hopefully you can stick along. If you have questions, you can comment down below. And again, the best way to really ask questions and get a better answer is obviously on Twitter because I can like send a chart. I can post a chart. If you have a question on a specific stock you want me to cover, it's, it's a, just a better way for me to communicate and ask and answer questions for you guys. Um, but understand that. I also want to highlight right now, we're not going to have Discord spots available most likely until the end of the month, right? There's, these spots aren't available. And it's, it should be saying sold out when you click it. Um, but we're going to have our big Black Friday sell at the end of the month. So if you are interested, I'd probably wait. I mean, I'm just going to say, or you can do a monthly because our Black Friday, we're only going to be doing yearly subscriptions. And then we're going to have our uh, our big package for lifetime, which includes the new um, course that we're actually releasing as well. So we're going to have a lot of stuff. And then our new Optimus bot that's going to be included. So that'll be really cool as well. So that'll all be coming at the end of the month. But again, so spots will be closed until then. Let's go over um, stocks. Specifically, let's start with Meta, one of our top names. Now, Meta, I told you guys yesterday, above 573, you're bullish. Right into 583, and you went even more parabolic into like 593. I mean, it was $20 run. Congratulations if you caught that one on the day. Um, you know, the same levels as always. If you stay above, um, you know, 589, I'm looking for a 600 push. It looks really good. Amazon just in price discovery. You can't do too much here, guys. 
Had some good trades down here. It's just can't do as much up here. NVIDIA also all-time highs. Price discovery. Can't do too much up here. You know, unless you're going time and dated there. Um, Micron, one of my favorite names. I told you guys about this yesterday. I'm a big fan of Micron above like 114. That's when you get real confirmation. Looking for 117, 121, and then 127. Looks really good there. I keep telling you guys about this. I told you I was going to give it to Discord, but I had to give it to you guys as well. Um, so important to understand that as well. I told you guys about ARM. I, I mentioned it. I said it, it had bad earnings. I wanted to see a dip, but you didn't even dip. It just went straight up today. So I told you guys, as the earnings weren't bad. It was this is a good name. This is a good stock. One of the best outlooks on semis that there is right now. Now you're in a little bit of a downtrend here, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is still a hot, hot, hot name. And I'd be watching this. When it breaks out, it's gonna move back into 164 and push back into highs. It's a good, good, good name. Next one too, AVGO. I, I mean, another big name I've been telling you guys about, right? I'm telling you, it was a slow period in Discord for like a week and a half, and you know, it really was. So like I know some people were canceling when they signed up. But like, this is where you make your money. Like when you get these breakouts and you get confirmation, continuation, and like you look really good right now. And Powell's comments today were incredibly, 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 incredibly bullish. So I like how we're moving here. AVGO breaking back out. You're looking for all time highs now back into 186, 180, I mean, at least back above 185.26. Um, in my opinion, above 185.26, you're looking for a price discovery into 188, 190. AVGO has been, a, I've been trying to tell you guys above 180, it was a long, I mean, Great, great, great outlook here above 177. I hope you got. I hope you caught it. Hope you got got some. Um, but yeah. So again, AVG is probably my top dogs. I don't care too much about AMD guys um, until it gets back above the 200 SMA. I think it's just a waste of time. Um, it's very risky. Um, if you want to buy it above 150, you know, again, the thing, my viewpoint here is like, could you trade into 200? Yes, you can. But understand this: if the Nasdaq gets hit and it starts to drop, I think AMD is going to get harder than the other semiconductors. So. Just understand that that's the risk you take there. Um, Microsoft had a dip on earnings, but now it's rallying back. You're getting back above five, uh, 424 as well. Above the 200 SMA, I already like it. Above 424, I really start to like it. Looking for the gap fill back into 432. Above 432, I mean, this thing, again, that's your big level here. 432, 4, 431, give or take, right? I mean, you get really bullish above this. So again, once you start mounting back above this, I see, I think Microsoft gets that type of action, okay? Google, um, I've been telling you guys above 174.5. I said it was another good long back in 178, 179. You broke again into 180 today. Um, above 180, give or take, about right there. I'm looking for almost an all-time high push, 192, 193. Um, keep your head on a swivel. It's a good-looking name as well. Um, again, like I've, I've been going over all these names uh, as much as possible. But yeah, um, MicroStrategy. I've been really big on MicroStrategy when it comes to crypto. It's probably the best scalping name. But I think Coinbase is the biggest opportunity, and I'm going to continue to say that. Um, I mentioned it yesterday at 235. You know, now you're at 255. Again, I think it's a giant cup and handle here. Um, I think it's one of the best looking longer term charts out there when it comes to crypto. Maybe the best chart. Um, so it's incredible. I mean, this thing has room back into 380, 370, um, minimum 294. So again, what I'm targeting here, very bullish on it. I would have time on my contracts. I love what I'm seeing there as well. Um, so yeah. Zillow. I haven't mentioned Zillow in a while, right? I keep saying it was a long-term name. You're going to Target 2 now. Like you're looking for the push into $83. So Zillow had earnings, I believe, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And basically they announced too with the CEO that Trump's plans with deportation will benefit the housing market. And he's totally right, actually. Because what's going to happen with deportations, um, it's going to get, it's going to make rent prices more competitive because you're going to have less people renting these multifamily properties so there'll be more vacancies so prices will inherently drop there and then that'll make obviously the real estate market get more lucrative as well so again i'd be looking at that as well um zillow again back in 83 looks really really good maybe i'm not buying on a gap up like wait a second but still very opportunistic still looks very good there um a firm in the after hours had earnings i still love a firm as long as it's above 46.5 46.50 i think it's bullish as long as you hold that now the big breakout you're looking for uh, is back above uh, 51.5. Above 51.5, I mean, this has monster room, monster legs. Back in a 73, $80. Big, big, big blast off type of name there. Um, so above 51.5 is what I'd be looking for. Um, don't overcomplicate it. Um, just don't, okay? Um, Apple, another name here, right? You guys have been asking a lot about. But the fact is, is this holding up? It's like I said with Amazon. If Amazon holds up, it's gonna find buyers. As long as Apple stays above 225, the longer it's going to, like, it has a like, more likely chance of pushing back into 232, give or take, right? 
So that's really what I'm watching for here now on Apple. And this 232 level has just become major. So 232, 233, it's looking more and more likely. I mean, like you're finding a little bit of resistance right here, this little previous low, but I think buyers are going to step back in. The longer you hold up here, the market holds up. Apple's going to find those buyers. Okay. They're going to step back into it. They're going to take advantage. Uh, but another major opportunity here, in my opinion, CrowdStrike. I've been talking about it. You broke previous highs here. You're pushing into that daily gap, 337. We've been saying it. Um, you're getting too close for comfort there, so can't do too much now. Uh, Pan W, another one of those major, major, major names. Um, I think you're going to get a breakout. You're already breaking all-time highs. I think you're pushing into $400. It's my target. I've been saying it for a while. Discord, you've been hearing me about this one. It's riskier, but again, Nancy P owns it. Nancy P loves it. Tyler W wants to marry it. Okay. That's why we like it a lot. So again, stocks I'm looking at, stocks I'm watching, shorter video day. I feel like shit. I'm, my cough is really bad. I just like, I've been sick for days. I've, I've drank endless bottles of NyQuil. Um, I've, I've done everything you could think of, right? Nothing's working. Nothing's working, right? But the show goes on. See you tomorrow.